administration section. In their name, I welcome you as chair of the standing committee uh, to this web conference and thanks for participation. Would you change now slide, please, Neutjun? Okay, nomination and election, what I mentioned already for section is our topic today. And um, that is our agenda for this web conference. We will present uh, short the hosts, the persons who had prepared this web conference in the first point, then uh, short information about what is management lib and, uh, library association section and the standing committee. And the main part will be an information about nomination and election, structure of IFLA, IFLA membership, the nomination and election timeline and who can nominate, who can vote, and uh, what is the professional section standing committees, the SIGs, the governing board, and so on. Um, yes, and then the fourth part will be questions and answer from participants. We will then stop the recording. The recording is thought to have it present then for other people to see it later on our YouTube channel. And the last point will be miscellaneous. Thank you, Lloyd June. And now I would uh, ask you to stop share, screen sharing. Yes. And we will present the uh, responsible uh, in alphabetic order. My name is Halo Locho. I'm the former director or general secretary of the Swiss uh, Library Association, Biblio Suisse. And uh, today I'm supporting management uh, task for libraries and for associations. Uh, I'm the chair of this uh, standing committee and I will hand over to Christine Paverza. Hello everyone. My name is Christine Paverza Ramirez. I'm IFLAS member engagement officer uh, and I'm also part of the IFLAS selection team at the moment. So I'm here today to help answering some of the questions. Welcome. Thank you, Christine. Next is Loida Garcia Febo. Yes, we cannot hear you at the moment. Loida, please present yourself short. Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good night. Um, here from New York. So great to see you. I'm the information coordinator for MLAS and I'm an international library consultant. Happy to be here with you all. Thank you, Loida. Next is Magdalena von Wiener of NPSIG. Uh, yeah, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Magdalena and I come from Poland. Uh, I am convenor of IFLA New Professional Special Interest Group and I'm here as a technical supporter. Thank you very much. And I'm not a librarian. I cannot work in the alphabetic order. I missed Lloyd Chun. And uh, please, Lloyd Chun, present yourself. Thank you. Hello. Uh, I am Lloyd Jun Chin. I come from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm currently the MLAS secretary. And I was formerly working at the National Library of Malaysia, and I retire in 2017 as the director of the National Library. Thank you and welcome everyone to this webcom today. And it's incredible, Lloyd Chun, you must know it's two in the morning Malaysian time and she is with us. Thank you very much for your big engagement. Thank you very much. Okay. And now some general information we uh, I already mentioned, we will uh, record this information part and stop it for questions and answers. So you are free to make or ask questions. The dumb questions are the best. You, you must not be ashamed to do that, but uh, that is this, the, the, the meaning of our meeting to answer all the questions you have. Now, uh, slide four, a short information about Management Library Association section. Would you share the screen another time, Lloyd June, please? Yeah. 
is one step back and uh, you can start the presentation format, please. Okay, management of library association section. You see some members, 13, I think, uh, from our standing committee in the Dublin conference this year in Ireland. Normally, the whole standing committee had, we, as all standing committees from section 20 members. And um, I'm the chair, and also because this is an important section, I'm automatically a member of the governing board. We have in total 172 members, registered members, 117 are national associations. That is the core, historical core of the IFLA and 20 international associations and 35 other members. I already mentioned this core of IFLA when it started in 1927, we are nearly 200 year old. That was the base, the starting point uh, of IFLA, an association of associations. Okay, now I, after this short presentation of MLIS, Loi Chun will take over and present our main topic, nomination and election process 2023. Uh, thank you. Hello and uh, welcome everyone again. I'll start uh, this today's uh, presentation on IFLA uh, nomination and election for the year 2023 for section SIG and also for the governing board. If you can see on the slide here, there is the IFLA structure, uh, just a very brief overview of the IFLA governing board. Uh, it's been supported by the regional council. And uh, under the regional council, we have six regional division. Uh, that is Asia, Oceania, Europe, Latin America and Caribbean, Middle East and uh, North Africa, North America, Sub-Saharan uh, Africa. IFLA Governing Board is also supported by the Professional Council, uh, where you have eight professional division, that's A to H. And under the eight professional division, we have 42 uh, section. And in this 42 section, we have a child special interest group, or SIG. We also have the advisory committee, uh, both, and then they have the also under the uh, Committee on Standard, we have four review groups uh, as in the slide. The Professional Council, the Chair, the Regional Council, and also the Chair of the uh, MLAS, there's a uh, hello, are in the Governing Board as ex-official. These are uh, our governing board members for 2021 to 2023. We have all the full members here in the photos. And we have our president, Miss Barbara, uh, seated in front, and our president-elect, Miss Vicky. She will be the president for the term 2023 to 2025. And we also have Miss Helen here. She is the now currently the acting secretary general of IFLA. And we have all the beautiful ladies and uh, men, and some men all in the photos here. So you have uh, the three are the ex official here. And we have the member as large of the IFLA. And uh, we have the treasurer. And this is Miss Helen. Uh, we have uh, go to the next one, that is the uh, IFLA membership. We have two types of IFLA members, that is, uh, and then the IFLA uh, affiliate. IFLA members, they have uh, nomination and voting rights, and uh, IFLA affiliates are not members. You can see under IFLA members, they are the National Association and National Other Association. And we have also international association and other association. As you can see in the note here, that uh, IFLA members uh, pay a membership fees, whereas IFLA standing committee members are elected. That's where it's important that uh, all IFLA members attend, uh, pay attention to this uh, coming election, which is going to start uh, this end of this uh, week. Uh, 
We have also the affiliate that you can see in this slide. We have the personal and also the student affiliate here. So please do sign up to become a IFLA member or affiliate today. For the uh, next slide, this is the IFLA 2023 nomination and election timeline. We have uh, the nomination which will open in less than uh, 48 hours. Uh, that is on the 13th of January 2023. We welcome uh, IFLA uh, nomination and election for the term 2023 to 2025. Please note that uh, the nomination will close on the 24th of February and uh, the election will open on the 13th of March and uh, it will close on the 12th of April. The result of the election will be announced on the 1st of May by IFLA headquarters. So please uh, take note of all these uh, dates and uh, please check your email <coughs> constantly for all these dates. We yeah. have the IFLA 2023, the circle of the nomination and election, the timeline. We have, as I mentioned earlier, IFLA nomination will be from January 13 to February 24th. And after the nomination, you have the election of the March 13 to April 12th. And then after the uh, members are in elected, there will be the time for officer nominations and election. Officer in this term uh, include the chair, the vice chair, the secretary, and also the uh, information coordinator, and also the coordinators of uh, special interest groups and advisory board. So it will be this time, May and June 2023. And then we have the transition of May to August 2023. And the last one will be uh, onboarding for the uh, new IFLA members from July to October. So this is the uh, timeline for the uh, nomination and election again. The next one is who can be nominators in this. Uh, uh, so there will be nominators for the, uh, you can see here the unit members or the unit members and personal affiliate and also the unit officer and the unit officer and uh, personal affiliate. So you can see here, what are your voting rights and who you can nominate uh, according to this chart for the president, president-elect, treasurer, and board members, and also advisory. All this will be up for election or nomination. We also have who can vote. You can see that uh, not many can vote for this. The, everyone can nominate, but for voting, there are certain uh, group of members or officer who can vote according to this uh, slide. Like section standing committee, you can only vote for your section, your register. And for regional members, you can only vote for your region. For example, I am a affiliate, non salary affiliate members of IFLA. So I can vote for my region that is Asia Ushana. I can nominate and vote in this section. So, uh, the next slide I will share with you is uh, who can nominate and vote and what to vote for. So as you can see in the slide here, for the president-elect, which will be the position that will be uh, for nomination and election this year, or category of members of IFLA can nominate mm -hmm. for the president-elect and also for the post of the treasurer, uh, everyone can uh, nominate a member at large of the governing board or can nominate all, all categories of uh, IFLA members and also at the chair of the regional council everyone can nominate for this post and members of registered regional division everyone can also nominate for this uh, position and standing committee members of registered professional section also can be nominated every category of members, whether you are a institution or international institution, you can nominate anyone for this post. 
So as you mentioned in the note here, chair and members of advisory committees are appointed by the governing board and members of review groups are appointed by the advisory committee on standards. The next slide here is on the uh, eight division of the uh, professional division. We have division A to division H uh, headed by the division chair. And you can see that the number of uh, section uh, varies between uh, four to six in this uh, each section. And each section has the SIG, that is a special interest group. So it's either you have one or you have two uh, uh, these uh, special interest group and this special interest group is supported by the division as well as the sponsoring um, section. For example, in division D, uh, division C, Management of Library Association, we have a new professional special interest group and women and information and library uh, SIG, uh, the sponsoring uh, section is the management of library association. Okay, so um, this is the uh, the structure of our professional division. And uh, the next one that's in the base camp here. Uh, before I uh, go further on, I would like to share with you that uh, all these are all very detailed information are all available in the IFLA base camp and also in the election website and also IFLA has come out with a very detailed uh, IFLA uh, election uh, guide 2023 is a 40 pages uh, it's a very very detailed 40 pages guide which you can uh, look at all the how to nominate and what are the requirements or are very uh, well documented in this guide. So you can, it's online and you can have a look at this uh, election uh, guide. So we have actually here 42 section under the professional uh, section and you can see the number of vacancy as of uh, 3rd January 2023, we have uh, 415 vacancy out of 814 uh, committee members uh, post in this uh, professional section. And uh, this is almost 49.5% uh, are, are up for our volunteers to be in any of these standing co committees. And uh, this 415 vacancy is due to uh, our committee members uh, completing their first term or second term in the standing committee. So there's, uh, we hope that a lot of us will volunteer to be stand for nomination for this post. And what are the uh, requirements to stand for nomination? So these are the ones that uh, you have in this slide. For the president-elect, who will be the president for the next two years, and uh, this will be the term of office that they will hold for the president elect will be two years and then they'll become the president for another two years. And you need to take note of the number of nomination that you need to have in order to stand for nomination. That is for the president elect, you need to have 10 nominations and you need to provide those nomination has to be accommodated accompanied by the person who is being nominated as the nominee, need to send in their consent form and the candidate uh, statement. The con statement also varies according to the position you are being nominated. It varies from 1,000 words for the president-elect, 500 for the uh, words for the treasurer and also the member as large of the governing board, which is you have five positions and also the chair of professional division committee, you have eight positions, one each for each professional, that means A to H, uh, 300 words, and the member of the professional standing committee, you have 42 sections as in the earlier slide, and uh, you need to have uh, 200 words. So this candidate statement need to include what are your skills and what are your attributes in, uh, in this uh, in this statement. 
So for the, just a note that the number of vacancy varies in each section and uh, the maximum number of uh, members, committee members in a professional section standing committee is uh, 20 members. We also have the convenience or special interest group child position here. That means the maximum. Uh, we have 12 special interest group and all these are renewable ones. And also uh, for this, SIG is self-nomination. That means you nominate yourself to be in the SIG, depending on your interest in the SIG, what are the area of uh, interest for you. Same with the professional standing committee, which uh, area of interest are you in, or which section are your association registered in as a member. So that will allow you to be stand for nomination. So these are the requirements that you need for nomination, the number as uh, in the governing board, you need to have more and then the chair will be more, but the rest of the uh, standing committee and communists and also uh, you only need to have one nomination. And most of these, they are renewable uh, for once for election, like chair and uh, for the standing committee. Once you have completed your four years for the first term, you can stand for re-election again and also for the conveners and also for the members of special interest group. Okay, we come to the last slide. Actually, all these slides are in the uh, website or in the link that is uh, provided or prepared by the IFLA headquarters. I just took some of the slides to highlight some of the things that it's a very general information that I'm uh, giving today. And I hope that all of you will visit all this IFLA website, the election of IFLA, the IFLA base camp is very active. Uh, every now and then we have new information coming in. And this is a very important IFLA election 2023 guide with the link provided. You can just click on it and then you can have the uh, guide to it. And uh, if you have any question, it's always open. Uh, members and affiliate register to your section. If you want to know uh, what are the sections that your association or you are affiliated with or you have registered with, you can contact the membership. And we have today with us is uh, Miss Megan from the Professional Unit Officer. She can also help you. And we have also Miss Christine, the IFLA Membership Officer with us today. They will help to answer any question uh, regarding nomination and election. We have also Lydia for nomination election process. And the transition or onboarding information, we have uh, Miss Megan today. So uh, these are the contacts that or the links that you can uh, have further detailed information on how to get about on the nomination. And also you can uh, from uh, on the email, you'll be soon receiving email starting from the 13th of January on nominations. Thank you very much. Uh, for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Loi Chun, for your big work. And also thank you, the representatives from the headquarter, which uh, prepared the slides we use today.